Hello, dear friend. Thank you for meeting me during the same time I have. My husband has a third estate over the edge, and the protests have turned into a revolution. It was announced to have begun by a recent year. I remember we were younger, and you read a sonnet to honor us in your first year of college. It all began when the peasants stormed the Bastille, the prison where again the estate were kept. They massacred the guards and stole all their weapons. Didn't the woman of the third estate storm her side so they could kill you? I was able to escape through the Louis room where the insane women could tear me limb from limb. Those barbarians also cut off the heads of the castle guards and stuck them on the end of sticks for the stick. I was scared for my life. They had us forced out of Versailles. I can't believe Louis would let them do that to us. How horrible. Well, until you hear more about what's going on, I think it's best that you lie low. God bless you. No, no more of that talk. Haven't you heard about how the religious figures had their heads cut off to take something as simple as bless you? I mean, they changed the saints and even our calendar. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll have to be more careful. So I better be going now. Farewell. Bye. Now it's 1793, six years later. King Louis is scheduled for execution after a mockery of his trial. I can't believe it was only one year ago when Louis, Marie, and all their children tried to flee the country in our time of need. I guess I can understand what the sentence is based on their leaving us in our time of need. What is it? The king is executioned today. We better get out of here before we're strung up on lampposts and riot start. Louis Augusta de France, you are hereby executed by guillotine today, the 21st of January, 1793. You are to die for the treacherous acts you have committed against France and her people. You overtax citizens, put the country in debt by sending troops to aid the Americans in their own revolution, and completely broke any trust you may have still had in you by attempting to flee the country when your people needed you most. For this, you shall now die. My people, how could you do this to me? Okay, class, get out your notebooks. I want to hear what you thought about the readings last night in chapter eight. We will be going over it today in class. Emma, would you like to start us off on what you learned? Sure. Well, after the execution of King Louis XVI, a period known as the Reign of Terror began, where thousands were sent to the guillotine. The man in charge of all these deaths was Robespierre. Eventually, he was sentenced to death. Time passed, and Marie Antoinette was sentenced to death as well. Very good. Brooke, would you like to add on to that? Sure. It began when the people of France saw how empowered revolution made the Americans. The people saw the monarchy as somewhat of a dictatorship, and they rebelled against them. At first, things went well, but without good leadership, it soon degenerated into the reign of terror. Yes. King Louis's execution greatly upset the surrounding countries of France. They were appalled that France would murder their own king. Small battles and wars began to try to stop their rebellion. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay, we were just getting into when France became a republic.